YouTube, like, comment, subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this. Click the bell icon button. I'ma just refer to this player as Jermaine. Jermaine is code. Jermaine, co. This is the guy for me. And I know I've bounced around on YouTube a couple times with a couple different players to pick it too. Picking Aiden Hutchinson obviously didn't work out. Picking another player obviously is too high for a quarterback. But Jermaine Johnson's the most complete edge in the draft. It's unfortunate that individuals have him ranked as the 16th best player because he's the most polished. Every scout you talk to, they say he can do this move, that move, all these other moves, and he has pass rush ability. But instead of just talking about his ability with his hand fighting and all that, being able to stand up and sit down, play the wide nine, play stunts, play the defensive line, let's talk about something. Let's talk about effort. Jermaine Johnson shows quintessential effort. He shows a love for the game. He shows that he can play team football. Don't take it from me. I'm gonna insert a clip here, about 20 second clip. I'll insert a clip here, and this is what a scout had to say on his channel about Jermaine Johnson. Finally at Florida State, he came into his own. Let's see what this guy can do, because I'd love to watch him play. Here, off the edge, get those hands off me, son. I'm going to get the quarterback, and that's exactly what he does. Let's see that tight shot again. You see him here coming off the ball, fires off the ball. That tackle's ready to try to put the paws on him. He said, no, sir, not me, not today. Get off me, I'm getting to the quarterback. I love that. That's the big part of what he does in this game. I also love guys who do their job. You have to do your job. Football doesn't work if one guy's freelancing. So here he is right here, and watch the way he's able to take on this puller. He'll take the puller on. Let somebody else go make is who's supposed to make the tackle takes the puller on Boom now he's in position because he took that puller on kept his outside shoulder free The other guy came in forced to run back inside now. He can make a tackle. That's good football. That's unit football That's doing your job football, and that's what he's aiming to play his heads-up play here is something I think is super critical the ability to recognize. Oh, I did get the ball up I'm just gonna push him out of the way. I'm gonna go score this guy has had a huge rise up the charts this draft season He went from a guy that people thought was day two to a guy that's probably gonna be in the top 15 He is going to be a star at the next level The fact that he understands football, he's willing to give up the big play just to make the right play and the correct play, that's what I really like about him. Now, he could do run fits, he could do all types of things when we're looking at the defensive end position, but giving up the sack. There's players in this draft that have to sack the quarterback or else it's not a good play. That's why people like Aiden, because it's not about just sacking a quarterback. It's about playing the edge consistently and then going after the quarterback. It's about doing your job and then getting after the quarterback. Now, he's not the sexy player. He's not a Thibodeau. I don't understand the Thibodeau hype. The Lions are probably going to pick KT with the second pick. They're probably going to run up there with that card and pick him because they like Oregon Ducks. and I don't know. There is no other reason to draft him. But when we look at the most polished pass rusher in the draft, we have to understand that this dude's combine numbers, RAS score, all the measurables and the intangibles stand out tremendously. And whatever team gets this player is going to be thankful, okay? He's going to be immediately thankful. I think he's better than Kevon Thibodeau. I honestly think it's Aiden Hutchinson, him, Boy Mafe and then Thibodeau. But honestly, that remains to be seen. In four years, we're going to be talking about the legend of Jermaine Johnson and was A.B. wrong or right. I can deal with that type of criticism. I think Thibodeau is an eight sack a year guy. But when I look at this pass rusher, he dominated at the Senior Bowl. He dominated at the Combine. He showed what he can do. And he just seems like a, a scheme fit. He seems like a player that's just willing to do everything. He has grit, tenacity, toughness, all the things you look for. But the most important thing is he's a we, not me type of player. And the fact that those ideas and beliefs are out there about Kevon Thibodeau, that's unfortunate. The Lions are gonna make the ultimate decision on this and I hope they're right. I need Kevon Thibodeau to play well. 
Micro Mike even told me, you need to root for him. And we will root for him because his success is the Lions' success. But at the end of the day, I just think Jermaine Johnson is going to be a better player and have a better overall career. Like, comment, subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this. Click the bell icon button. Love y'all. Jermaine, go! Yeah.